Hi friends, in the previous video we discussed the scope of pharmacovigilance. In this video we will talk with Amrita on reporting of adverse effects during clinical trials. Welcome Amrita. Thank you. So Amrita, how do adverse effects get reported during clinical trials? Clinical trial is a process where potential treatments such as drug, device, biologics are tested in human volunteers or patients to check whether the treatment should be approved for wider use in general population or not. Okay. Due to involvement of humans as participants, clinical trials are highly regulated and closely monitored by health authorities. Right. Every step is predefined. Mm -hmm. Now suppose the medicine under study is administered to the enrolled patient and some adverse reaction is detected. Mm -hmm. Now this adverse reaction will be analyzed on the basis of certain criteria such as seriousness, expectedness, intensity, relatedness. Okay. So once the assessment is done, the adverse effect will be categorized into two categories. First, which needs an expedited reporting to health authorities okay and second will be which need not be expedited reporting okay the expedited reporting category includes SUSA okay what is SUSA SUSA stands for suspected unexpected serious adverse reaction and it is an untoward and unintended reaction to the medicine okay how do you make out whether an adverse reaction falls in SUSA category or not well, SUSA must fulfill some basic criteria. Mm -hmm. It must be serious. Mm -hmm. It must be related to the drug. Okay. It must be unexpected. Okay. And uh, one last question I have. Are there any timelines uh, for reporting of these adverse reactions to health authorities? Yes, there are certain timelines. Depending upon the type of adverse reaction, there are timelines for reporting the adverse effects to the health authorities. Okay. For example, SUSARs that are life-threatening or have fatal consequences must be reported to health authorities within seven days of its detection. So, just to summarize, mm -hmm. all the adverse reactions detected during clinical trials are thus assessed, categorized and reported to the health authorities within specified timelines. Okay. Friends, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you. In our next video, we shall discuss the sources of adverse effects during the post-marketing stage. Thanks for watching.